nevertheless, mm. <laughs> this persisted. This idea of candida overgrowth or candidiasis hypersensitivity syndrome. And you've got countless organizations, supplement companies, and forums dedicated to spreading the word. Mm -hmm. And why it has remained so popular, I think, comes down to two main things. And the first is that is what you touched on. Medicine doesn't have all the answers, and people seeking help are sometimes dismissed or have their questions ignored and mm -hmm. their concerns ignored. And I don't doubt that people who think they have this condition or are experiencing symptoms of candidiasis overgrowth or candida overgrowth are probably experiencing uncomfortable, disruptive, or even debilitating symptoms. Mm -hmm. But so far, no evidence points towards candida as the culprit. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that someone isn't having headaches or digestive issues, but that it's probably not candida. Right. People who are desperate for answers, desperate for relief, may find themselves looking outside of medicine for someone to tell them what's happening. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the second reason why I think this has remained so so popular. It's because there are countless people who are happy, more than willing to profit off of it. But all of these things, like, they're misguided. Mm -hmm. And it is, oh, it just, it reveals so much of what is wrong with expertise, medicine, people being missed by medicine, and like our limited capacity to answer all these questions. I was thinking about this in like an actual puzzle, and you know, you always put the edge pieces together first. Like we we're still flipping those. over pieces. Like we're not even close. <laughs> That's to so true. That. That's so true. Yeah. We don't even know how many puzzle pieces we're dealing with. <laughs> Absolutely not. Could it be a 1,000 piece puzzle 5, or like 000? a 100,000? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the the fact that the anti the anti candida diet and these alternative approaches to treating yeast infections, just as an example, are as prominent as they are, I think speaks to the failure of medicine to adequately meet people's needs, the disgusting greed and lack of regulation that allows people to sell snake oil on the mm -hmm. basis of fear and lies. Mm -hmm. And also, I think it shows the very human tendency to want answers, to yeah. want to take action.